thank you for that uh, profound analysis rooted in both philosophy and history, as I think such analysis always has to be. Could I ask uh, Jorge Dejman to make his presentation? Thank you. Thank you. I will continue on questions of legacy because I think yesterday we were told enough about crimes in Slovenia. And, but we have also, I have mentioned this crazy coalition of old boys elite and NGOs or progressivists, which are trying to, to construct uh, a virtual reality on old uh, Stalinistic basis. And, but I think we can, enjoy some, uh, let's say, think tank um, construction. Uh, when we enter here, we saw the names of Jelac, Zrinski, Drashkovic, uh, Majuranic, Frankopan. We, let's imagine that in 200 years we will come here. Uh, will we found instead of these guys, some communist heroes? That's a very simple question, but I will Practically, you know what it means. In Slovenia, we have in register of cultural churches, we have uh, 2,900 churches and 2,900 communist monuments for World War II. So in principle, one church is equal to modest memorial plate communist one. Uh, if we enter the problem, it's the problem of quality. But you, saw, you see, the biggest communist memorial is lower than lowest church tower, let's say simple. The whole artistic quality of uh, these five, six thousand monuments at all in communist one is like simple baroque church, village baroque church. That's, in principle, we can begin to evaluate things. And the other way we can begin, yesterday we were told, and you are telling your personal story. I think personal stories are quite important. Uh, I must say in 2003, I led a study circle, first one with victims, with children of murdered people. It was called Power of Survival. <clears throat> in, in 2004, we made uh, with Jorge Mujina, we have mentioned yesterday, we made a documentary film, Silence the Power of Survival. It was the most uh, the, the documentary in Slovenia with its most audience, its record. And on the other way, we have weekly on Catholic Radio, Ognišče, uh, from 2005, uh, testimonies under title My Story. There are uh, Jorge Mužina is making testimonies on national television. It's right to memory, right to tell the story. And it's, it's attacked in similar way as we have seen in case of terror hazards. We have seen, we were told yesterday of some Slovenian experiences. But I think the way we can uh, revive these questions we were told is, I would say two names. One is Pedro Opeka and the second one is Janis Jansha here. Uh, you know, Pedro Opeka is missionary on Madagascar. He was born in Argentina, Slovenian parents. His father escaped from a uh, killing place, killing field in, uh, uh, near Zagoria. And Janis Janša's father escaped from, <coughs> from cave we have seen yesterday from under Matesnova Gorica. And so we have a miraculous uh, survival of two fathers and two super successful uh, children. I would say it's why is it so important to to debate Janus Janša's case? He was excluded from the Communist Party, arrested eighty eight, and his arrest uh, and three friends of him, three collaborators, created the Committee uh, of Protection of Human Rights, and it provoked the um, let's say participation of approximately 200,000 people uh, joined the committee, and it was turning point, fall of uh, Slovenian communism. So simple. The second case, the second, of course, is Janis Jansha was Minister of, Minister of Defense in 1991, ten, uh, ten days war, a great victory. The other, let's say, uh, 
leader of defense was uh, president of this committee for protection of human rights, Igor Boucher. And then Yanis Yansha had very, let's say, uh, up and down political history, but he's always on market. He's always heavily criticized. He's always under fire. Many times accused, said from prison with uh, decision of constitutional court, but he has uh, three times president of uh, Slovenia, two times leader of Council of European Union, and I would say his journey with <coughs> two colleagues to Ukraine was turning point in, I would say, in some in some way, uh, to European reaction, reaction to to. Um, to this uh, new crisis. But why is Yanis Yansha then so heavily attacked in Slovenia? You must know that now in some Slovenian cultural institution, there is an exhibition about demonstrations against Yanis Yansha. We don't have Museum of Communism, we don't have Museum of Slovenian Independence, but we have exhibition about uh, killing Yanis Yansha because kill Yanis Yansha well, is officially allowed in Slovenia. It's simply a program. And I would say that uh, this uh, symbol is symbol of what this, let's say, new Stalinism is fighting for, to destroy uh, independent republic and to destroy all, each, uh, everything that would criticize the old times, let's say, that scientific old times. We have enjoyed. Uh, and I say that uh, this installation or this uh, illustration tells us that we are not dealing with democracy, rule of law, uh, and uh, human rights, and we are in some uh, regression in Slovenia, and you have mentioned also some facts in Croatia. Uh, back, back, go back to hatred, violence, segregation, stigmatization, discriminations, and other lowly faces of uh, of totalitarian uh, regime. So, uh, simply to read fascism. And uh, I think uh, this is uh, really a problem, but I would end with uh, a simple story how the history of communism could be told. Rado Pizdir is Slovenian economist. He is dealing with uh, smuggling uh, and other uh, dirty businesses of uh, secret political police. It's a very interesting story because uh, in day they were practicing self-management during the night or abroad. Uh, they were dirty cap capitalists. Uh, and this capitalism in way of uh, secret political police, one example, uh, Republican political police have divided their operations in the Macedonia they were producing opium. Slovenians were smarter, technologically advanced, and were producing heroin, and they were selling heroin to Lucky Luciano in uh, states. So high-tech operation. But Rado Pizdi has made a very intelligent uh, co uh, conclusion. He said, yes, I am sure that uh, political police has invested this money from drug uh, drug trade into Slovenian independence and democracy, and he proposed that the Slovenian state should uh, should uh, erect a monument to Lucky Luciano as as form as a Slovenian uh, uh, statesman. Uh, I uh, there I think some somehow uh, it's the best way to deal uh, this uh, this new fancy dreams. We are uh, we are <laughs> we are exposed to them right at the time. Thank you.